Hello guys, welcome back to another mod overview for Total War Attila. I wanted to upload something different first, but I just had to cover a mod that I just found on the Steam Workshop and that just got released. The mod I'm talking about is Special Traits and Legendary Heirlooms and this is actually a campaign modification made by Prometheus. One of the most important things in Total War for me is faction uniqueness. I want to enjoy a different experience for every faction I play. This is also the reason why I like Attila and Rome 2 more than Shogun 2, simply because of the variety of units and factions in the games. The problem with Rome 2 however is that only the units and cultures are really diverse, everything else is pretty much the same for every faction. Attila improved this because of the family tree, unique traits, the iconic faction leaders, the unique buildings and the various household options for your generals. The fact that every faction has a very unique and recognizable, because of his armor and such, uh, faction leader is very good in my opinion, however he doesn't have a lot of special traits that really make him stand out from the other characters from your uh, faction, only like the look of your uh, faction leader is really unique but not the traits. However this modification will change that. The mod we're discussing today further improves the faction uniqueness by introducing a completely new feature to the game, quests. This new feature gives all the faction leaders for the major factions both a unique special trait and a unique heirloom which gives the faction and character various bonuses depending on the faction you play as. In the example you see on the screen right now I'm playing with the Suebi and they get the following things. The special trait is called Children of Germania and it gives the Suebi plus 1 zeal, plus 5% charge bonus for infantry and plus 2 morale during forest battles. The Suebi leader also has access to two heirlooms, the first one being the Mask of Arminius giving the man plus 1 cunning and more morale for his forces and the second one being the Oaken Shield giving him plus 1 authority and better stats for his bodyguard. These traits are completely unique and only available to the Suebi. Each faction has their own unique trait and heirloom. Baram of the Sassanids for example gets Overlord as a trait, giving him plus one zeal and morale bonuses against Romans and Eastern peoples. And the Immortal Bodyguard heirloom gives him plus one authority and five morale. The Pictish leader gets Children of the Night as a trait, giving him plus one zeal and bonuses for night battles. His heirloom is obviously his winged helmet, providing more morale and personal influence. Almost all factions only have one trade and one heirloom, but Attila, from the Huns, gets three heirlooms to make him even more dangerous and stand out in the campaign. His sword, his bow and his armor are all unique heirlooms. Um, of course your faction leader can die, but don't worry about that, his traits and heirlooms will pass on to his heir in this case, which will become the new faction leader of course. The cool thing however is that you can level up your heirlooms and special traits. They all have requirements in the description for reaching the next level. Each rank improves the effects that the trait gives you. For example, let's look at the unique traits for the Suebi again. The description of the Children of Germania, of Germania trait says, The Suebi may be migrating, but they will never forget their Germanic roots. Teach the world to fear the Children of Germania. So, how will we make the world fear us? By destroying enemies obviously. So as you can see, if you win enough attacking victories, you will reach Children of Germania level 2, further increasing your benefits. This is the same for every faction and each trait and heirloom has a level 1, 2 and 3 with improving bonuses for every level of course. At the moment of this video all factions are done except for the Ostrogoths, the Visigoths and the African factions but he's working on those as well so they might be out soon, maybe if you're watching this video they're already out. This is a small mod that doesn't completely destroy or change the vanilla experience but it does greatly improve the role playing and uniqueness of your faction and king. This mod is from now on a must have for all my Attila campaigns and that's not a lie, I will really use it in all my campaigns, I really like it and I recommend you all to try it out yourself as well. Link is as always in the description, hopefully you enjoyed the video and I will see you all in the next one, bye bye.